conservation is such a huge part of tourism. They, they, they go hand in hand. And to, it's, it's a, it's a double-edged sword because tourists put a lot of pressure on destinations, but they also bring in a lot of revenue, and it's, it's the reason that destinations are popular. But National Geographic recently launched um, a major campaign, I think it was on the 18th of May, called Planet or Plastic, to try and draw awareness to the fact, the, the pressure that we're putting on locations. Nearly one million plastic bottles are sold every minute around the world, and they've got no place to go. So what happens on land happens in the water, and it's up to destinations to try and protect what they've got and educate children and, and get local buy-in to this protection, which in turn brings tourists in. The healthy reef will attract more wildlife, and more wildlife is what divers want to experience. So the healthier the marine environment can be, the more divers are going to want to be there just to name a few destinations but if you think about what's on most divers bucket list most people will say are the Galapagos Islands or um, Cocos Islands in Costa Rica or other places where um, where there is protection and where there's a lot of wildlife so so it's 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 just natural that that protection will bring that kind of tourism and then the important thing is to then manage that tourism in a way that it then doesn't put too much pressure back on that ecosystem and then destroy it again so it's it's all about finding that balance and finding a good a uh, good way of managing managing that uh, for future generations and to have a long-term sustainable tourism industry with it